Hi guys and girls, I'm Mara and I want to show you all the apps that I use every day on Linux. There are a lot more, but these are the most used. All the apps I'm going to show you are free and available in every distro, so let's start. The first one is GIMP with the Photoshop layout. I'm using GIMP for making YouTube thumbnails, for making stupid meme, uh, and a lot of stuff. I use GIMP and not something like Photoshop with Wine or Affinity Designer, because for what I do, GIMP is just fine. I'm using GIMP with a Photoshop layout because I was a Photoshop user, so for me it's better to use GIMP with this. Another app that I use a lot is Upscale. What is Upscale? An AI image upscaler. That's all. I use this when I can't find a proper image for my thumbnail or a wallpaper or whatever, because I usually try to find a 1080p image, but if I make a thumbnail for an old video game or something that I can't find. I usually use the low resolution image. I put the image here and that's all. I'm going to make a proper video for this application because it's very good. Another app that I use a lot is Ghostwriter. What is Ghostwriter? A destruction free and effective text editor for Markdown. But I don't use this for HTML or Markdown. I use this for just activity list because it's a light app. It works great. I use this, that's all. So for some reason making a video about something, edit a video, everything. And then when I'm done with something, I'm going to put an X here and everything is good. It's a very good application. I use this all the time. Another app that I use a lot is Warp. What is Warp? Warp is a file transfer by exchanging a word-based code. In order to use this application, you need to have Warp, on your Linux distro and warp on another computer. If you use a phone, for example an Android phone, you can use the warp application or the warm all application. For example, for my phone, I have an Android phone, I use warm all just because it works just fine. It's the same application, that's all. How this application works, I need, I'm going to select a file in this case, and then this one, is the QR code or the word paste code. So if you have warp or wormhole, just going, you need to actually open that application, click to receive, and then select or the QR code on, or write the word paste code. That's all, and it works just fine. Another application that I use a lot is MPV. What is MPV? A video player, that's all. I use MPV for YouTube videos, for my videos, for sometimes music, sometimes, because whatever. And it's very, very, very good. <laughs> Another app that I use a lot is Zatura. Zatura is a fast and lightweight PDF and the book viewer or reader, whatever. I use this all the time for PDF, a book, text files, because it's just good for the eyes. Usually some people use Zatura with uh, Latex or Emacs or NeoVim, but for me it's just a reader. That's all. Another application that I use a lot, and this is the last one for the video. I use a lot more apps, but this one are the everyday apps that I use. Is Spotify. Why I use Spotify? Because I'm a, I love music. So for me, Spotify is the best app, best music client. I know it's not open source, it's closed source, and it has a lot of telemetry. I use Spotify plus Spacetify for the best Spotify experience. What is Spacetify? Spacetify is just an add-on that you can use in order to install theme, plugin, and everything on Spotify. That's all. You need to use Spacetify if you use Spotify on every platform. If you use Spotify on Mac OS, Windows, you need to use Spacetify because you need to use it. And I guess that's it. I already made a video like this uh, for content creation on Linux. I'm going to put that video in the description. So if you like my content, leave a like leave a comment and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to make a lot of videos like this uh, about Linux and about video games. So bye bye from Mera.